All right, so here we are in Psalm chapter 110. There's some context here that you need to know. This particular psalm is referenced in the New Testament and lets us know that it is clearly talking about Jesus. So with that in mind, let's jump into verse 1 of Psalm 110. Here's what it says. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. What I want you to see here at the very beginning, because we know this is talking about Jesus, is that we can understand that this is about Jesus being enthroned by God. Read it again. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. He goes on in verse 2. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power in holy garments from the womb of the morning. The dew of your youth will be yours. What I want you to see is that not only is Jesus enthroned by God, but Jesus is empowered by God. His strength comes from God. And it's put on him by God. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Now that is an interesting study in and of itself. And I would challenge you, go and figure out who is this Melchizedek figure? Where is he from? What's that like? What you'll find is that there was a mysterious interaction between this priest Melchizedek In Abraham, in the Old Testament, you'll find that there's a whole lot to it. Then you'll find many, many allusions to that particular situation in Hebrews. It's fantastic. What I want us to see here, though, is that Jesus' priesthood is irrevocable. So you're seeing this building of who Christ is. One, he's enthroned by God. Two, he's empowered by God. Then you look and see his priesthood is irrevocable. And then we finish with verses 5 through 7. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings on the day of his wrath. He will execute judgment among the nations, filling them with corpses. He will shatter chiefs over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the way. Therefore, he will lift up his head. What I want you to know is that Jesus' power is invincible. So here are the points that I want you to gather today as you're studying Psalm 110. One, Jesus is enthroned by God. Two, Jesus is empowered by God. Next, I want you to see that Jesus' priesthood is irrevocable. And finally, I want you to see that Jesus' power is invincible. If you've placed your faith in Christ, you can know for sure you have a mighty warrior on your side. The issues you're dealing with, the struggles that are before you, you have God on your side, living in you, powering through you, teaching and training. And so you can know that Jesus is enthroned and empowered by God. And you can know that his priesthood is irrevocable and his power is invincible. Place your faith in him. If you haven't today, we would love to be in touch with you. Text the word HOPE to 417-256-3128. This is how you'll know. We'll follow up with you almost immediately about how you can have hope.